Hey friends, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to the vlog. Today we are going to work on this thrift store mirror together and anytime I see a mirror like this, I couldn't tell you after painting furniture for over a decade how many times I've come across a mirror just like this. I've painted it and it sells every single time. I also have to tell you that this color that I'm using called Sweet Sunset, anything I paint in this color has positively sold. Everybody loves a sweet coral color. So all I'm doing right now is brushing on my paint. It is as easy as grabbing a brush and going bananas. I didn't have, have to prime or sand or strip. I just went ahead, picked the color I wanted. And the brush style that I'm using is a really hard bristle brush. I call it a shabby chip brush and it gives me a really cool distressed look. I'm a distressed rustic lover. So I let the paint dry and now I'm grabbing a coarse sand block to knock some more paint off the edges. I do like that rustic look. How about you guys who are watching? Are you somebody that tends to do full coverage, no distressing, or do you love the distressed look? Well, now I'm about to even uh, make it more distressed because now I'm going to do some antiquing. And this is something else that you can do to make a piece look very old and time-worn or tea-stained, however you want to describe it. I am using the black antiquing glaze that we have. And all you do is you brush it on in small sections. So you saw me do the end of this mirror. Now I'm going to the side, brush it on, and then immediately grab a nice cloth, a soft cloth. And you saw me spray it with some just room temperature water and very lightly just go ahead and wipe it off. The longer you leave your glaze sit before you go ahead and wipe it off, the darker it will get because it will suck in to your paint pores. Now glaze is not paint, it is a translucent medium that goes over your paint. I always tell people think donuts has a glaze on the top of it, right? So it's a really cool full of faux effect that you can do for your paint, but it's also not a sealer. It's just a really cool technique to age your paint. Now I am sealing it and this is the final step. I'm, I've grabbed my monkey shine here. This is our all natural clear oil wax finish. And especially if you have projects that are more decorative, it's not gonna get a ton of use. It's gonna hang on the wall, look pretty. If you have hungry, thirsty wood, oh my gosh, when you put on the monkey shine, it just pops, looks beautiful. And I'm pretty sure your piece says a big old thank you to you. So I'm just finishing up this piece right now. All I have to do is wax, put the wax on. You saw me use my brush and put it on. I like to go in circles, so I plug all the paint pores. And then I come behind it and I buff it off with a nice clean cloth. And you can find all the supplies that I'm using today on the website at junkmonkeypaint.com. What do you think of this sweet little mirror? Sometimes I paint stuff and I miss it. I really miss this mirror. Thanks for watching, guys.